All right, we're back with Grim Fandango Remastered. We just, uh, well, just uh, without any kind of problem, lifted up this huge ocean liner. It looked much bigger in Rubakawa now, come to think of it. Anyway, uh, this is where we want to, what we want to use to get out of here. But in order to do that, we have to first rescue Meche. So let's uh, go all the way back. I don't think we need this thing at all, now come to think of it. Oh yeah. And um, I had an idea about the uh, vault matches. Uh, what are these? Could you just stop these step sounds, please? Okay. <laughs> That was, uh, that was a funny audio glitch. Anyway, uh, about that vault match is trapped in. I think we have to bring out the big guns for that once again. <laughs> that seems to be a running theme in this game. Whenever you think you have a solution in mind, just step it up a few notches uh, in your head and then you have the, the actual solution. And especially with that uh, combination lock they have there. You'd think they had like a combination lying around somewhere, but that's not where you want to go with your solution. This isn't funny! Ah. I promise I won't pull guns on anyone anymore! <laughs> this isn't funny! Nice. Must have hit a major circuit. BB! Hmm. But it looks like I've exposed the guts you here. certainly have. I don't want to bust all yeah, that. Yeah, just uh, put the thing away. Into your infinite uh, jacket pockets. Those are the tumblers of the combination lock. I can't move those by hand. I need this wheel. Need the wheel? Uh, huh? Must be a combination lock, but there are no numbers on it. Poor Don was never good with numbers. What's about this? Ah, I see. Okay. Now, what we want to do is, of course... Uh, pull these, right. To make the lock actually open up but basically hacking the lock while seeing what what each and every uh, individual action does yep yeah, that's one uh, I mean two is that it Huh, almost, yeah. I think he got it. That should be alright now. I guess I didn't oh, enter on. the right combination. I thought it was okay. I yeah, can't I move those by. So I thought... Oh, I did it... <laughs> I did it the other way around. We want the... We want this... We want the uh, free sides in this direction. Yeah, that was dumb. Okay, this way. So the uppermost one is in place, I think. Isn't it? No. Nope. Okay, this one is in, the first one is in place. Now, second one is in place. Third, and final one. Now this should do the trick, I think. I guess I didn't Come enter on. the right combination. Oh, I can't move those. Time. 
Okay. I'm I'm not actually going insane here, right? This is the way you're supposed to do it. Like this. Now the first one is free. Second one is free. Third one. Well, almost. Nope. Wrong way. They don't quite fit. Maybe like this. What? Oh, and I had them so nicely lined up and everything. I feel your pain, Manny. Let's try again. Oh, I can actually keep the button pressed and then he'll uh, spin the wheel in an analog way. An analog fashion? I don't know. Analogally? Hmm. Okay. Let me just get this right here. I want to spend all evening doing this. Okay, maybe that's it. We've been here already. God damn it. That second one is always the one messing it up. Wait a second. You know what? I forgot something. I think I actually forgot to do something. I don't very want to mess important. up my blade. You want to stick this thing inside there. Today. Oh no. Is that really the solution? <laughs> Fuck me! <laughs> All right, Mitchy, you can come out now. Mitchy? Oh no. I'm so embarrassed. I forgot all about the science part. Uh, why? <sighs> That's kind of diabolical, isn't it? If you don't have, like, a walkthrough, you forgot about this thing. Oh, brother. Let's just keep going. Yeah, you don't have to actually line them up so uh, closely. The scythe, if you if you stick it in, it's just, it just equalizes it, and then you can open it. God damn it! Okay, so now we're in this vault. Uh, Looks like years probably. and years of coral harvest reports. This can't be what this secret safe is meant to hold. I tend to agree here. Um, okay. Man, <laughs> people in the humongous... old days were huge. Exactly. Humongous uh, knight. Ah, you can actually pick it up. So... I think... There's like a secret compartment hidden behind this wall. I think. But how do I? Oops. It's a Corsa is heavy. 
<laughs> Let's try again. Maybe you have to be on the side of the, of the wall in order to do it. Nope. Mm, let's turn around then. Yes, of course. Is there anything else we haven't looked at yet? Hmm, some sort of metal contact. Hmm. <laughs> How about we kill this thing? Or reap it rather. Nope. Doesn't work. That's strange. Hmm. Wasn't there something up here somewhere? Do you want a piece of calavera suit? <laughs> A suit for quite a while yourself, Manny. So, I don't quite get it. Mm, no, electrical current makes my marrow tingle. Boy, the bus stall and I really did a number on that door. Uh-oh, oh, oh Raul, I am so, so sorry. I'm pretty sure we had to do that, but I don't remember why. <laughs> um, can't go I don't back think it's going to be as anymore. easy to pick from this side. Yep. They're all locked up. These must be very, very sensitive coral harvest reports. They're all locked up. Yep. Hmm. Another point where I'm stuck. I'm actually a little bit disappointed with myself. What do I do with this axe? Can I... Maybe I can use the axe with the uh, electrical current thingy. I think it's going to be as easy to pick from this side. Maybe I can do something hmm. with this here. Can't get in there with this. Nope. Hmm. Can't get in there with this. I don't, I don't want to mess up my blade. There's something we have to do with the blade, though. Ah! Okay. Manny, I knew you would... Why is that door closed? Uh, it was the only way I, uh, uh the wind? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, sir. Uh, you, you can't seem to get a break, huh? But yeah, I think that was the only way. We had to close the door and put the scythe onto this, uh, whatever it is, indicator. Um, I just thought I had already done that. Anyway. Hey, this is my room. Go use up the air in your own room. 
<laughs> Come on, Mad shit, don't be mad. I was trying to help you. Thanks for Even not shooting I bunged me. It up. Look, I'm sorry. I should have trusted you. It's just that the past two years have been pretty tough, you know? Hmm. I believe you. You look like you could use a nice ocean cruise. Still my travel agent, eh? <laughs> that home plumbing sprinkler system looks like it's about to fall apart. Yeah, about that sprinkler system. I think it needs uh, trimming. Now, all we have to do is wait for the room to fill up, and we'll just float on out of here. Well, this is disappointing. <laughs> Not to me. We don't float, remember? Well, you can swim still. All right. <clears throat> okay, uh, so... We don't need this anymore, but... We can, I think, turn off the water or turn it even higher with this. Thank you. Oh, okay. Hmm. So now I think it's is the time to shine for our axe here. It'll only take a minute. Um, these, uh, of course, are the um, suitcases full of double end tickets Hector and uh, Domina have been uh, hoarding. Um, I think there's some way to actually do something with this. Didn't the water flow back out of here? Hmm. Didn't quite uh, pay attention there. It's, it's one of the blue tiles, I think. It's a little bit tricky with these controls, of course. Make sure we get the right Ugh. one. Hmm. Let's try again and see where the water's flowing. Uh, let me pick that up and put it back over this way, just so we can have a better view of the whole thing. Okay. Okay. And then go back. My scythe. I like to keep yeah, it next to where my heart used to be. The scythe in your heart. Eh? Oh wait. <laughs> I mean, I can just turn the water back on, right? Like that. Oh, not again. <laughs> Okay, I'm turning it Thank back you. off. Where does it lead? It leads in there. Okay, so it wasn't a blue tile. For some reason, I thought it was a blue tile. Ah, that's the wrong way, Manny. God, this sound effect. So it must be this way. Come on. God damn it. <laughs> Why don't you just go <laughs> in this direction some more? God damn it, Manny. Mm. 
like this, and then just stop. Yes! Okay. We reveal the drain. Nice. After you. What about the suitcases? <laughs> What's in these cases? Take a look. Well, you, you already know that, Manny. It's Come all on. the double end tickets Hector and Dom have stolen over the years. Each one stolen from a good soul, and now they just sit there. That's it. What? They just sit there. That's what's been bothering me. In the days when I was a hot salesman, I used to see double in tickets all the time, and they move. What do you mean they move? Uh. They become agitated around human souls, and the ticket that belongs to you will actually fly into your hand. But these tickets, and the tickets in that suitcase of Charlie's, it's like they're dead. Why would Hector and Domino be hoarding cases of counterfeit double in tickets? Ah, it doesn't matter. They wouldn't fit through this hole anyway. Let's go. Well... How do you know they're counterfeit? Maybe they just don't respond to anybody I'm so, around. So glad because... to see you. Ah, okay. All we need now is a way of breaking through that reef. Tag, you're you... it. <laughs> oh, you guys. <laughs> so he magically Whoa! just appeared on the beach here, and I don't know how these guys got out, but at least I guess Gladys saved them on his own. <laughs> While we weren't Dad, looking. <laughs> um, all right then, that's I think. Wow, God, kids, <laughs> knock it off. I'll be back next episode. <laughs>